Hello everyone, welcome to Sharad Chandra IS Academy. Welcome to the session on current affairs. So today in this session, we will be discussing about freebies. Basically, under a topic called electoral reforms, okay, under a topic called electoral reforms, we have many important issues that came up, okay. So within that, freebies is one important thing, okay. So under electoral reforms, we were talking about this. Okay, so basically, this is this is a topic which is confined to your GS paper two, and under electoral reforms, we will be discussing about freebies in the first go. Coming to the freebies, as I've told you, we have the habit of creating a overall picture of that particular current affairs, and then we'll be talking about each and every particular topic in detail. Coming to the news part, okay. So first of all, we need to understand what are freebies and why are there in news. Okay, later we'll be continuing this topic, talking about the merits, demerits, the Supreme Court's view, you know, experts' views and all. Okay, all these things will be a secondary part. Coming to the primary part, okay. So why this particular freebies in news is because Supreme Court, you know, have given a notice to the centre and election commissioners with respect to this particular free freebies. Okay. And a PIL has been, you know, registered in SC against irrational freebies that goes against the free and fair elections. So, irrational freebies which are going against free and fair elections. So, people, you know, free and fair, free and fair elections are like a fundamental aspect of parliamentary democracy, isn't it? It is a fundamental aspect of parliamentary democracy. So, in democracy, you know, free and fair elections will play a most important role. And this particular irrational freebies, they are actually going against this particular free and fair elections. Okay, that is what is the issue. Now, coming to this particular freebase or, you know, we call it as in general populism. Okay, what does this particularly mean? In the Indian context, Freebies are nothing but those expenditure programs that aimed at subsidizing the larger population. Okay, for example, giving free uh, laptops, free bicycles, you know, subsidizing those things to a larger extent in order to gain, you know, uh, you know, to gain, you know, support from the people. Okay, irrational freebies we call. Okay, so coming to Reserve Bank of India. Okay, some states are going, you know, uh, in a Sri Lankan way. That's what is RBI's concern as well. Some states in India, because of this particular irrational freebie, seems like they, they are going towards a, you know, fiscal, fiscal profligacy. Okay, profligacy we call. Okay, I'm so sorry for spelling it wrong. So basically, RBI says that some states are going in a direction of Sri Lankan way. Okay, which may lead to fiscal profligacy. What is this fiscal profligacy? It is nothing but spending money, okay, without having a limit or spending the money in a manner which is not, you know, it is in a, which, which is not so proper, wasting money you can say, okay. So, it means RBI's general view is that fiscal prudence is being lacked by the state leading to fiscal profligacy. So, what is fiscal prudence actually mean? Fiscal prudence means actually it is, you know, the ability of a government to maintain its, you know, monetary condition in a proper way. Okay, fiscal prudence if it is not there, if you are not able to, you know, maintain smoothly your monetary conditions and all, if it is lacked by a state, it may lead to fiscal profligacy. It means an act of spending money in a waste manner. Okay, so that is what is the RBI's concern. Okay, few states are going in a Sri Lankan way and the other thing is there is no proper planning with respect to monetary condition which is leading to the fiscal profligacy which is nothing but spending that particular money in a wrong manner, okay, which is of no use, okay. So, coming to freebies, freebies, what is freebie basically? It is something that is provided free of charge, for example, free water, free electricity, free bicycles, free laptops and all. So, these days, the, uh, you know, political parties are making the particular freebies are the integral part of their manifesto. 
okay in the political manifesto when they were you know uh, going for campaigning and all what they do is that they'll show this particular free uh, bees in their manifesto to influence the voters that's what is the thing that is happening over here so now the question is that okay we have several concerns supreme court raised a concern rbi says that there is you know uh, states that were going in a sri lankan way okay there were you know subsidizing and expenditure programs were being increased by the government which is influencing the order which is against the fundamental aspect of parliamentary democracy which is your free and fair elections so keeping all these concerns in mind let us just talk about what are the implications of freebies coming to the implications we will first talk about the demerits of freebies okay so in this in the uh, political sphere if you see okay in the political sphere with respect to election and democracy okay so freebies are something which actually goes against the free and fair election so here we will talking we will be talking about a political dimension or political sphere of this particular uh, topic okay so in political sphere if you see these are against free and fair elections okay first thing is a, a you know first main important concern secondly it will be leading to criminalization of politics isn't it and it is also competitive populism okay so these are the concerns with respect to political sphere these are the demerits with respect to political sphere coming to state fiscal conditions okay if you consider the state fiscal conditions what happens is that freebies will weaken the fiscal situation because there will be some programs like loan waivers isn't it in order to influence the voters the political parties will create manifestos in such a manner that they will say that they will be waiving the loan so this is particular thing which actually weakens the fiscal situation of the state this will also lead to fiscal profligacy as we have discussed because of lack of because of the lack of fiscal prudence okay so because of lack of fiscal prudence this will be leading to fiscal profligacy and it will redirect the scarce resources isn't it that's what one is other thing domino effect what is domino effect one you know negativity leading to a condition to create another negativity okay you cannot you can you, you it's like a chain reaction everything gets affected so like that so these are all the negative aspects with respect to freebies okay you can say you know demerits of freebies also coming to the merits of freebies first of all the reason behind you know uh, if you if you go with a positive you know view of this particular freebies this was actually installed in a view of people who are vulnerable for example in uh, tamil nadu in order to you know reduce the dropout rate of girls they have given free bicycles for the girls they have improved the dropout rate of girls in the secondary schools and all in tamil nadu okay it means what freebies have a merit it means it will be you know focusing on social welfare it will create food security okay so it will also benefits industries that actually supply the supply you know supplying industries will be you know they will be benefited okay and this particular things will be delivered with less corruption because if it's a freebie no need to pay people will be you know will not be facing a issues with respect to corruption and all so these are all the some merits of freebies but anything if it is going in a bigger extent if it is exceeding a limit obviously it will lead to a negative effect isn't it so in that case if you see the demerits of freebies they are affecting both the political sphere and also the economic sphere of the state so in that lines we have to control this particular irrational freebies that's what is the conclusion that we can make so that's all about the merits and demerits coming to the supreme court's view supreme court actually opined that freebies will shake the roots of the free and fair elections okay so obviously in the starting part also we have discussed that free and fair elections are fundamental aspects of parliamentary democracy and obviously this irrational freebies will be affecting that particular thing and coming to a larger degree okay in a larger degree it will also you know affect the level playing field isn't it so that's what is the supreme court opinion so what uh, so this particular supreme court's view can be you know 
used as an introduction and we can also use it as a conclusion part in our answers as well. So, what Supreme Court viewed is that freebies will shake the roots of free and fair elections and to a larger degree it will affect you know the level playing field in the elections and all ok. So, coming to the way forward ok in way forward we can take multiple aspects in order to you know get rid of the negative effects of freebies. In first of the thing in first of its uh, you know uh, particular thing implementing model code of conduct strictly will be a one particular thing which can be done and Framing a proper guidelines with respect to elections as directed by Supreme Court that can be done and you should create awareness within the voters. So, that is what is another important aspect that we can do. People if you just see here ok, voters will be getting influenced, voters will be, will be getting influenced you know because of uh, the promises that will be made by the uh, people who are you know contesting in the elections. For example, somewhere if I go, okay, I will say that I will be giving you free ration, free electricity and all. Obviously, voters who are vulnerable, okay, people who feel that they are, you know, they are not getting the things in a proper manner, they will be getting influenced, okay. But these particular poor voters were not aware that what will be the future consequence of this particular promise. So, when there is no fiscal prudence, ok, there is no proper planning of monetary things within the state and if, if, irrationally when we were declaring freebies and all, voters should be aware enough that is it in a, ok, is it will be, is it a good thing for the state's economy or will it be leading to the state to face consequences of it in future, ok. So, that is what is the awareness that should be generated within the voter. To create awareness in water, first thing is they should be educated enough, they should be aware enough and secondly, it was media's role which will play an important role in this context, agree? Because media's are the, those things that will create an opinion within the public, ok. If media could able to project the things in a proper manner, ok, it would definitely be uh, you know creating awareness about the economic impacts of the freebies in the society ok. So, we should basically s differentiate between what is a subsidy and what is a freebie ok. There is a need to understand what are the impacts of a subsidy means you are just reducing a cost half cost is bared by the government and some of the cost will be geared by uh, bared by the people. But freebies is a different concept I hope you know you are getting what I am telling you. So, this particular awareness should be there. It is also essential to distinguish between this particular things because specifically targeted benefits that arise out of demand ok that can be you know uh, those particular things which are which are of true demand that can be given as freebie not everything ok. So, in that regard we can actually give a way forward in terms of model code of conduct in framing guidelines ok. In making voters realize the fiscal situation of the state ok, voters should be aware enough with respect to freebies and all ok. So, they should also you know uh, media ok, these are also the people who actually play an important role with respect to creating awareness in people ok and also NGOs ok. So, in this particular manner we can actually give our views with respect to freebies and finally, we can also take into the consideration the constitution article of article 324 of constitution ok, which provides for independence of election commission to ensure to, uh, to ensure the conduct of free and fair elections. So, this is what is the thing that we can actually uh, you know uh, use in our particular answers with respect to the questions asked with it, asked in context of freebies ok. So, basically in finally we can basically we can say there is a need for freebies ok because it will facilitate the growth because it is supporting education if you see that particular people who are using bicycles ok it is supporting social welfare it is giving food security ok it is facilitating growth ok. It also helps the lesser developed states ok. So, essentially for fulfilling the expectations in the country and all ok. But there are many other ok drawbacks with respect to freebies 
okay so which is nothing but this particular fiscal situation it means in a way it is creating a macro okay not micro a macro economic okay instability okay macro in economic instability is being observed here okay so that's what is the thing that you that you will face during freebies i hope you are getting it okay so in this way we have concluded a topic called freebies we talked about the news we talked about what freebies actually mean we talked about the implications the merits and demerits and we talked about the sc's view and also way forward so that's all about today's session we'll meet tomorrow with another new topic thank you everyone